Hey guys, welcome back. I wanted to create something dark, gold. Oh, it's gonna dip into that pattern. I'm also using lots of affordable slash huh, drugstore makeup if you're wondering. Hope you guys enjoy this look from start to finish and let's begin. Alright guys, so first thing first, eyebrows are already filled in. We're going to be using the Morphe 35P palette in today's tutorial. First shadow I'm dipping into is this warm brown. I'm applying this in the outer corner crease area of my eye and then taking it a little bit more into the middle part of the crease. Heading back into the Morphe 35P palette, I'm using this light brown shade. I'm going to apply this right below my crease area of my eyes. Going into this dark plum shade, I'm applying this at the outer corner of my eyes and I'm using a very light layer of this shade. We don't want to get it too dark super quick. We want to like build on up into it. Take your time, slow your roll, one step at a time. Of course, you want to make sure you blend this shadow out. Then I'm going back into the Morphe 35P palette. I'm using this beautiful bright purple. Uh, it's stunning. I only use a little bit of it, just add a little bit of color. I applied it at my outer corner of my eyes and then I went back in with my blending brush to blend it out. Then to create that really defined sculpted lid area, I'm just going to go in with a little bit of concealer. This is the LA Girl Pro Concealer in Toffee if you are wondering. I'm going to dip into this frosty lilac shade of purple and I'm going to apply this right on top of where we apply that concealer. Then I went back in with this lavender shade, just a tad bit darker than the lid shade, and I just applied it at the outer corner. Now it's time to deepen out that outer corner. Actually, my favorite part because it just really pulls this look together. So I'm just using a dark black eyeshadow, and I'm applying this at the outer corner of the eye, and then I slowly but surely take it into the crease area of the eye, and recommend for you guys to take your time with this. For my lashes today, I'm actually using House of Lashes. And smoky and it's perfect for like a smoky eye because it will pop but not overtake the smoky eye then to clean out my outer corner and kind of round out that shadow because we really wanted a rounded eyeshadow instead of like a straight-on shadow I'm just gonna use a little bit of concealer this is the LA girl pro concealer that we used before the color again is in what toffee then to highlight the brow bone and make sure it pops I'm going to go in with an off-white eyeshadow all right <laughs> then we're gonna move on to the face I just get really like excited and start jamming out to music but I'm gonna go ahead and color correct and I'm gonna be using an orange concealer to do so and to color correct all I do is I apply the orange concealer by my dark spots under my eyes to cover any dark circles I might have or any other parts of my face that's just a little bit more darker than usual Now moving on to my foundation, I was like, should I do matte, should I do glowy, matte glowy, which one should I do? Like, I have so much options, so I went ahead and did a bit more glowy satin finish foundation for this look. You can definitely do a matte finish, it's up to you, especially if you're going out for nighttime. But I'm using the LA Girl Pro Foundation. And for concealer under my eyes, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer. But also I'm using the Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer. To set my foundation, I'm using my Ben 9 powder in olive sand. If you guys have any recommendations for setting powders, make sure you leave a comment down below and let me know. For highlight today, I'm using Makeup Geek's Midnight Sun Highlighter. I kind of just apply this all over my skin just to give that natural glow to it. Moving back to under my eyes, I'm going to go in with this warm brown and I'm going to apply this under my lower lash line of my eyes. Then heading back into that lavender shade, again applying this under my lower lash line just to smoke it out. Then to add that even more drama and dark and deeping it out, I'm going to use this purple eyeshadow. It's a bit more brighter purple, but it looks beautiful mixed with all these shades together. To highlight my inner corner, I'm using that shadow that we used on the lid area of my eyes. For my lips, you can definitely use a purple lip if you want to go more vampy, but I'm using a pink lipstick, and this is R&B from ColourPop if you're wondering. So this is a final makeup look. I love it. Dramatic. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys on Wednesday. See you guys soon. Adios.